you start your league camp campaign at Nottingham Forest tomorrow night. Mm. How much do you enjoy the competition? We've seen the likes of Hector Bella and Alex Awobi. They've started their careers yes, in the competition. Yes, uh, I, I, uh, I think uh, it's good to, first of all, it's uh, an interesting cup competition that uh, gives uh, games to all the members of the squad. Uh, when it gets to a later stage, it becomes uh, passionate. And uh, so you have to survive in the first round. That uh, will not be easy, of course, for us. But uh, we want to maintain our winning streak, you know, and that's why uh, it's an opportunity to find, to give everybody a uh, good competition and as well to uh, have a chance to win a trophy. So we, we want to combine the two. You've traditionally sort of played some some experienced players with some younger players in the past. Is that going to be the same approach, do you think? Yes, uh, but uh, we'll have tomorrow a team who is experienced and as well uh, give a chance to two, two, three young players. Much of the pre-match talk will focus on Nicholas Bentner. What was your reaction when you found out he'd signed for Forest? Look, it was a surprise to, uh, to me, but uh, uh, at some stage he needs to restart his career. Uh, and when you have no club, you know, there's, uh, there's no small clubs, there's only football and uh, uh, you have to adapt and read, uh, we are in a job where we have to so show that we are uh, capable to put it, our effort in everywhere and able to compete and uh, sometimes when you play of his quality, you just need an opportunity and uh, I, we know all the, his qualities, we know that he has a top quality player, but uh, you need to play. Do you remember when he first spotted Nicholas? Do you remember what your first impressions were? Yeah, well, he was very young, 16 or 17 years old, and uh, I thought, oh, that's very interesting because he's a good technique, a good stature, he's good pace, he's good in the air, he's good, good uh, link play. He had all in the locker, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, uh, he... Uh, I felt that uh, he had good periods in his career and uh, after p periods where it well, went less well for him, he could explain uh, it better to how he assesses his career because he's uh, an honest boy, an honest guy. And uh, uh, when he makes mistakes, what he made, he's big enough to say, look, look it was my fault. Sometimes maybe it was not his fault, but uh, 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 you felt that he had all in the locker to make a fantastic career. Do you think he's a bit of a misunderstood character? People think he, he's, he's overconfident, but is he, is he, did you find that? No, I, I, yeah, the per, uh, perception you have of mm. people have of him is like that. I don't think so. Mm. I think uh, he, uh, he uh, is sometimes, you know, uh, was impatient when I had him sometimes. Uh, he was disappointed uh, not to get the chance, and uh, you can understand that, but uh, it's difficult, you know. I, uh, I'm not here to judge people, I'm here to help people who want to be successful, and uh, sometimes you manage to get it. Get it. Sometimes uh, we do not find the key, and uh, then you have to leave uh, some, the key to somebody else, so potential uh, to, find, to find it. Of all, uh, he could explain much better uh, than I can. Do you think he'll have a point to prove or of any sort? Of course, mm. of course. Uh, you know, when you go, uh, he goes down to a level uh, where he was not used to. He started his career there with Birmingham and Steve Bruce, you know, and uh, where he did very well. And uh, uh, he's humble enough and I think focused enough to, to show that he can fight again.